Yo, what's good everybody? It's Brady and welcome back to the channel. And after five hours of sleep, waking up to go to Manhattan to pick up some Cherry 11s and doing some other business stuff, your boy was finally able to pick up the Adidas Bad Bunny Low Forums. And I have to give a big shout out to Mark, bro. Thank you for sending me that link so that we could do that pickup stuff. And yeah, guys, so I'm gonna go back to the crib and give y'all this review. So I'll see y'all in a bit, alright? All right, y'all, so we just got back in the crib, and as I mentioned earlier, we picked up none other than the Adidas and Bad Bunny Forum Buckle Low in the Cloud White colorway. And something to note about this colorway is that this is going to be the last Forum Buckle Low between Adidas and Bad Bunny. And I definitely say that the Cloud White is probably third or fourth place out of the five colorways of the Bad Bunny and Adidas Forum Buckle Lows. I have to say maybe the black ones is number one, then the blue ones, the pinks, then these cloud whites, and then last the OG colorway. So although I do think they tried to be creative with the silhouette itself, I do think that the colorways that they chose for this specific shoe didn't really help it at all. Like when you look at the original colorway of the brown ones, they did add a little bit extra details of the different colorways, but it didn't really work out in my opinion. And then when they moved away from that colorway, they just started doing like simple things. So they dropped just an all black shoe, an all cloud white shoe, all pink, all blue. There wasn't like different kind of like color blocks to kind of make the shoe pop or anything like that. So I think in that respective, they did fail on it. And I am happy for them to be moving on on the shoe, but hopefully Adidas and Bad Bunny chooses a better silhouette for him because obviously he's one of the biggest superstars in the world right now. He's literally international and worldwide. And although I know just stamping his name on a specific shoe is going to make the shoe sell, period, I do think that he should either get like his own like nice silhouette or just something that's just different. Because again, this is a 1984 shoe and the only difference between the 84 shoe and this is this buckle right here and this lace lock that just you know kind of just tightens this but it doesn't really add any type of functionality is just for the style itself and yeah i mean that's just my opinion on that so now we're looking at the details of the box i think this is where adidas gets me because i think that the packaging is really nice so first when you open the lid right here you can see that we have the adidas three stripes and then you can see the eye from his por siempre album and then when we look at the side you can see that it says bad bunny right here then when we flip that, the same thing follows suit. And then finally, we do have that sticker tag right there. And it reads off as Bad Bunny Forum, and the US size is a men's size eight. I do recommend if you do wanna buy this shoe, go true to size. It completely fits true to size. It's not really tight and it's not loose. It just fits perfect. So I definitely recommend to do that. And then when we look at the colorway, it says Clo White, Clo Nix, and C White. And I think this is just different iterations or abbreviations for the word Cloud White. And then when we look at the box, you can see this Bad Bunny and Adidas logo right here. And then when you look at the top of this box, you can see that it says, Yo, visto así and that just means i dress like this in spanish and that's going to conclude that then when that box is actually filled you do get this nice dust bag right here and again you do have the adidas and bad bunny logo right there then when you actually get this shoe itself it does have this nice wax tissue paper. You can see that it's just this clear Adidas wax logo right there and this yellow tint. And then we also get two laces. So we have this kind of vault colorway on the lace and it does say Bad Bunny on the tips. And then we also get this kind of gray colorway and it also says Bad Bunny on the tips as well. Something to note is that these laces are 3M itself. And then finally, another detail that's inside the box and you guys should know by now, I'm a big fan of packaging, but we do get these kind of like extra tongues right here. And then when you actually look at this detail right here, we do have the Por Siempre album cover eyes. And then we also have this kind of like wide lace eyelet right here. So that's pretty much gonna conclude all the details in the box as well as the extra accessories in it. So now when focusing on the history of the shoe, there's not really much to it other than the fact that like I mentioned earlier, this will be the last Adidas Forum Buckle Low and Bad Bunny collaboration. And then some more history about this shoe is the fact that it's paying homage to an endless summer in the winter months. I don't know what that really means, but they're basically saying that's what the white colorway is dedicated to and paying homage to so if you guys know what that specifically means please let me know in the comment section down below and guys that's pretty much going to conclude the history of the shoe so now let's get right into the details so when we start off with the toe box you guys can see that we do have that nice leather toe box right there and due to the fact that it has like a thick mud guard covering it it is kind of smaller than the standard toe box that we would normally see then when we look at that mud guard we have this very nice hairy suede on it then when we look at the toe cap you can see that it kind of 
like meshes with the midsole itself. Then it has this kind of aged, transparent, off-white or sail colorway on it, and I think that's really nice. Then when we look at the tongue of the shoe, you can see that we have this thick tongue right here, and then we have these kind of 3M laces. Something else to mention about the laces is the fact that the other laces had Bad Bunny on it, but when you look at the lace tips on these, it just says BB, so that's just a detail to know right there. Then when we move to the top of the tongue, again, we do have that Por Siempre album cover eye logo right there, but if we actually unpin the tongue, because there's another detail, we do have that Adidas logo, so I think that's a clean detail right there. Then when we move onto the lateral side of the shoe, you can see that we have the three stripes logo right there in the quarter panel. So the three gray stripes has this suede feel to it, and then in between those white areas, it's kind of like in this canvas material. Then we have this midsole panel that rises over, and then we do have that extra detail of that kind of aged transparent colorway right there. Then when we look at this buckle strap, this is like the main detail of the shoe, and pretty much what differentiates it from the original 1984 form low. And it is actually like removable. So if you really wanted to, you can like take this off, but then and I don't think that would make any sense and kind of defeat the purpose of the shoe. But another nice detail to note after I put this back on is the fact that when we look at the inside of the strap, you can see that it says, Yo visto así, and that just means again in Spanish, I dress like this. And then we move on to the back of the shoe. Now you can actually see that we have this lace lock with this kind of bungee lace right there. And it's not functional at all. It'll just look ugly if you pull it all the way back. But when you tighten it, it does give that kind of like extra detail right there. But again, no functionality purpose at all. Then when we go on to the medial side, the same thing pretty much follows suit as the lateral side. And then now in focusing on the midsole, you can see that big Adidas logo right there. And it's kind of like transparent aged, like sailor off-white colorway. And then when we focus on the medial side of that midsole, you can see that we have this kind of foam white area right there, which just adds a little pop to this kind of like cloud white gray colorway. And then finally, when going onto the outsole of the shoe, we have this unique form low traction pattern right there. And then we also have this Adidas Bad Bunny logo right there, and I really like that detail on the shoe. And then when we go into this translucent section right here, you can see that we have the Adidas logo, and they're basically inverted, so one way would be facing up, and then the other logo would be facing and down so that's just something to note right there and then one more thing to note about the shoes that we do have this kind of like I don't want to say leather insole but it's this kind of like nice material insole you can see that we have the Bad Bunny logo right there as well as that Adidas original logo and that's pretty much going to conclude the details of the shoes guys so let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below and now let's get right into this awful look all right So that's pretty much going to conclude the review as well as the awful look and I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it for y'all Guys, please let me know what you think about this sneaker in the comment section down below and do you really like it? Do you think it's one of the best colorways? Do you think it's the least best colorway? Definitely let me know what you guys think about it To me, I'm gonna rate this shoe maybe like a 7 out of 10 It's not a bad shoe and on foot it doesn't look terrible But I think these colorways are definitely not giving these sneakers any edge at all It just looks like a simple Adidas sneaker with a buckle on it and like a bungee lace lace lock in the back is not really like that inspiring to me overall so i mean yeah it is what it is guys so let me know again what you think about it in the comment section down below and other than that y'all don't forget to like share comment and subscribe share with your friends and family and all that and just keep doing what y'all doing to help push the youtube algorithms and help my channel grow even more guys we finally made it to 1400 before the end of the year i appreciate y'all so much and again just thank you and other than that y'all i'll catch y'all in the next video peace